Hello everyone, this is Anton and today I wanted to talk about templates and how I'm using templates. I'll pretty much just show what I'm doing with mine and hopefully it gives you some insight into how you can be using templates when you're using Obsidian. But before I get into the video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I release videos like this uh, just about every week and it really helps the YouTube algorithms get this information out to other people just like yourself. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now Obsidian has templates built into a plugin and it's one of the core plugins. So if we go into the settings of Obsidian and we'll go into the core plugins area here and browse down to templates. Now templates here are here. They're typically disabled by default, but once you enable this, you will get a templates plugin configuration um, area down here under plugin options. And then in here you can set the template folder location. You can see mine set to the TMPL for templates, short for templates for me. And then you can also use this this variable for date in your template. And we'll see how I'm using this here in my templates. You can also use the time format. I myself don't make use of this one here, but if you like to kind of use the capture the time with your date or just capture the time, you know, by itself, you have a little uh, variable here that you can use in your template file. So if we come back out here, let's go into my template directory here and we'll see I have right now four different templates, one for the daily notes, one I have an exercise table and the I have an insert default tags and then also insert task tags. Now in the daily note, we can see here as I hit my daily note and have it automatically kind of generate for me, I want to pre-populate it every day with certain information. And, and this is one of those things you can use templates for, um, basically to kind of help you skip the typing of um, a lot of different characters or tags or whatever you, you plan on putting into a document and you do it kind of routinely, regularly, um, over and over again. Now, this particular daily note, I started off with my tags up top. We can see here, as I mentioned, there is that variable that you can use to format the date. This is how I've chose to kind of format the, the when property here for created date on mine. And then I populate it with some routine activities that I do throughout the day. And also I uh, have a little section here for today's task. And I have it pre-populate a couple tasks in there and give examples of a task. And then how I would do a, pro a project or, or maybe even a task that has um, a, a lot of things that need to be done or it needs to be done later. Um, so typically I'll, I'll create a page specifically for a project because it's gonna have more information that I have to kind of document for that particular project. In the exercise table here, uh, this, this particular template, all I do is capture, you know, a heading here for weight training log and then I have you know, rows and columns set up to capture um, exercises uh, that I would do throughout the day. Now, I'll probably, when if I create certain workout routines, have those documented in here, like uh, the actual exercises, bench press, uh, incline bench, curls, etc. And then maybe even populate the number of sets and reps that I should do. And then um, I can just populate the weights. But you can see here the table is already formatted. I don't have to actually do this at the time that I want to capture the information. I just use this template. 
Then there is the default tags template that I use. So when I create a file um, for whatever, capturing um, certain information, maybe I'm doing a report on a, or on a book that I read or just capturing information um, in general of whatever that I want to keep in my knowledge database here or knowledge store. I capture these tags and then put relevant um, hashtags here. It uses the date variable here. So I capture that on creation and then I automatically set the status um, to draft for this particular document. And then I have a similar one for tasks. So if I have a task that requires its own page, I again, take the properties that I would typically do on a, you know, a regular document, but I tailor it a little bit for a task. So I populate the hashtag of what it is as a tag. If it's a pro if it's a project, I could put hashtag project as well and change that there. But um, right now I just default it to task. I put the date and I also set a status as a hashtag not started. And then I can change this if I start it or not. And, and also capture the name, description, and due date. So let's see how this would work in, you know, if I'm creating a new file. The good thing about this template plugin here is that you don't just have to say, you know, it create it uses the template, it populates the file, and if I use the template again, it rewrites everything over. The templates can be used kind of like little code snippets. So I have this file here, it started out empty. If I want to use the plugin, so when you enable it, it cre creates this little um, icon over here. You can just click on this icon. It'll bring up all the templates that you have here. And then I'll just say, okay, I want the default um, template, the de default tag template and then it will populate that there for me. Now in this file, I can even continue and add additional information. So if I wanted to then add, say the exercise table into this one here, I can put the cursor where I need it and then say, okay, I want that particular uh, template in here. And you see how it adds the formatting for everything in that template. So this is really nice. You can, create a, uh, a few different templates here, make them specific to what you want to use them for, similar to how you would do your notes, and then use these like little code snippets that will populate um, certain things in your document so that you can save time and, and be more efficient in how you, you know, kind of create your documents and enter in information. So if we go to the daily note, we had the daily note template as well. If I go ahead and click on open today's note, it will create the daily note with the format that, you know, I specified in the, in the uh, plugin options and it populates everything that I had in the template. Now, just like in the other file, if I wanted to go ahead and track the, my workout for today in this particular file, I can go ahead and add the uh, weight training log here. If I'm going to do weight training this day, I can go ahead and track that in here. So this was just a, a quick peek into the how I use templates, um, hopefully to give you some insight on how you could potentially use templates if you're not using them. And if you are using them, maybe you're using them for different reasons than I am. And if you are using templates uh, different than you've seen how I've shown here in the video, go ahead and leave some comments on how you use templates in your daily workflow uh, when you're in Obsidian. So one more thing before I forget, with this particular plugin, I did show you how you can get to the uh, insert template from this little icon here on the side menu, but you can also set up a hotkey for this. And if we go into the settings, 
you go into hotkey and if you just search template you see there's an insert template hotkey here by default it's blank if you go ahead and set this up to something here as you start to use templates more this will improve your efficiency just that much more and overall you'll you'll see that your your efficiency with using obsidian goes up through the roof okay so that is it for this video i hope it was helpful go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a good day